the vices and the virtues. One day, a little girl was born, favored by God among all the other girls on earth. Her name was Mary. That day, a great joy invaded heaven and earth, and there was great celebration. She was very beautiful, because she was to become the mother of Jesus. God made her so good that there was no trace of evil in her. As she grew older, Mary tried to please God in every way possible. She did everything out of love for Him. She always loved and helped others. Everyone liked her. She was the person most loved by God and by others. Humility Mary loved God very much, and yet she never thought that He would choose her to be the mother of Jesus. She even got scared when the angel appeared and told her about it. But she accepted this because she wanted to do what God wanted from her. She was truly humble because she considered herself nothing in front of God and she accepted His will without putting herself first. This is the opposite of what proud people do. Pride is the bad side of us, which we like to call the old man. He can be compared to a strange animal, just like this peacock. See how proud it looks? It opens its tail to show off to others, and we can picture two springs on its feet to bounce up and boost itself higher than the others. Sometimes we also want to be stronger than the others. We want to be the first at any cost, even if we have to hurt someone else and make them cry. Instead. Act in such a way that others will feel more important than you. A singing contest. There was a singing contest for children in Korea, in which all the children were invited to take part. The teacher at school asked her students if anyone wanted to sing in the contest. Ji Song thought, I would like to. Everyone would applaud me and I would be liked by them. But then she remembered her little brother and thought, Maybe he would like to sing too. So Ji Song said to the teacher, Po Mi Chu could sing. He is very good at it. I wanted to be boss. Paul wanted to watch TV because there was a show on that he likes a lot. But his little brother wanted to watch cartoons instead. Paul was tempted to play the boss and say no to his little brother. Instead he said to himself, I'll let him watch his program, and that way I will make him happy. That same evening, Paul's mother said to him, You know, that program that you would have liked to see? It will run again tomorrow, so you can still see it if you want. Benevolence or Goodness Mary was very happy when she found out that her cousin Elizabeth was expecting a child. Even if she lived far away, Mary went to visit her and stayed there three months, helping out with every chore. Elizabeth was very pleased with her. Mary lived benevolence, the virtue which is the opposite of envy, because it makes us rejoice in the good of others. Look at this animal with its tongue sticking out. It represents envy. It looks like a fox. But it is not. It wants to take things that belong to others, but it can't, so it is envious. Be glad of the joys of others, and you will be happy. What a pretty slide! Claudine goes to play in the park and sees a slide. Oh, what a pretty slide, she thinks, so she climbs on top. Just then, a smaller girl comes to play on it too. So Claudine yells, Hey, what are you doing? Go away, I was here first. But I'd like to get on too, answered the other girl. At first, Claudine isn't too happy, but then she thinks, If I love Jesus, I want to love her as well. I'll do it for Jesus, who is also in her. She takes the other girl by the hand and tells her, Come on, I help you get on. 
We, we're going down. Then she thinks, wow, it's much more fun together. The two mangoes. Roger is on his way home when he sees two boys looking up in a tree. As he gets closer, he can hear them say, those mangoes sure look good, says the first boy. But we can't reach them, says the other. Roger thinks, I could climb the tree and get them. So he says to them, just wait a minute, and he goes up the tree. He grabs the mangoes and says, here you are, catch. The two boys are very happy and they thank Roger very much. Roger is also very happy. Then they say goodbye and he goes on his way. Patience. King Herod wanted to kill baby Jesus. That's why he sent his soldiers to all the houses around Bethlehem to kill all the babies. Mary was very patient and to protect baby Jesus she ran away with Joseph in a country far away. Like her, we should be patient with everyone. Not like this animal that you see. It looks like a porcupine shooting out with rage against someone. It represents anger. From its nose pews out a cloud of steam in the shape of a mushroom. Watch out if you get near because it could harm you. It could even kill you. It happens often. Just look in the newspapers or see on TV when people kill each other out of anger. But we too have this old man in us if we scream or get angry and we hurt others. Bear with love the little sufferings in your life and Jesus will say to you, you are my friend. At the house of our aunt. Andrew and his older brother Mark went to visit their aunt. She gave them some cookies, but while they were at the table they started fighting, and Mark threw a glass of water on Andrew, which was not very nice. So he began to cry and he went and told his aunt. As she wiped him down, she said to him in secret, Andrew, can you forgive Mark, even if he has been bad to you? So Andrew said yes, and he went back to the dinner table smiling as if nothing had happened. Can I play too? Can I play with you? Barbara asks. But Luke doesn't want her to. Barbara insists, come on, let me play. Luke gets angry and swears at her. Then he slaps her. Barbara would like to hit him back, but she doesn't. As she turns to go away, Luke says, Oh, come on, I'll let you play. Barbara thinks, No, I don't care to play anymore. But then she remembers Mary, who was always patient, so she changes her mind and goes to play with him, and she is very happy. Purity Mary's heart was filled with love for God. She was pure because she was always looking out for Jesus. Her love was so strong and pure that she defeated the devil. She is now our mother in heaven. She can help us to have a love as pure as hers. See this yucky worm instead? It is slimy looking and it has radars on its head to detect and see everything that passes. It represents lust and it wants to attract us to do and to look at bad things. Learn to be pure and you will be like angels. At Susan's house. Veronica is five years old and her little sister is two and a half. One day they go to play at Susan's house. At a certain point, Susan turns on the TV and they began to watch a program. But it was a bad program. So Veronica said, this film is bad and I don't want to watch it. But Susan didn't want to turn off the TV. So Veronica took her little sister and went to go home. Susan's mother was surprised and she stopped them from leaving. Then she told Susan to turn off the TV. So she turned it off and they began to play nice games together. Industriousness 
Mary worked very hard and took great care of the house in Nazareth. Joseph worked there as a carpenter and Jesus helped him out. Together they were really a hard-working family. Here is another type of old man. It's a skeleton sitting in an armchair. A spider web hangs from it. Money and food are close at hand, but it doesn't think it's worth the effort. It prefers to die of hunger. This is laziness. We also are like this when in the morning we don't want to get up to go to school. Or someone next to us has many things to do and we don't want to help. Or still, we leave our room in a mess when we know that it makes mom sad. God, who is our Father, created heaven and earth in six days. We, who are his sons, must take work to heart. Can you bring me the broom? Kathy, can you bring me the broom, says Anna, her older sister. Kathy thinks, I don't feel like it. But then she sees Anna by herself with a lot of work to do. She takes the broom and brings it over to her. Then she thinks, maybe I could help her sweep the floor. Anna thanks her. She is very pleased. Dring. Tom is enjoying his sleep one morning when his alarm clock rings. Hmm, I really don't feel like getting up and going to school today. He hears his mom call from the kitchen. Tom, it's getting late. But he rolls over. Then he thinks, maybe I should get up so as to love my mom. But it's so nice under the blankets. However, as time passes, Tom is convinced more and more that he is being lazy. So he jumps out of bed, washes up, eats breakfast, and runs off to school. Mortification One day, Mary and Jesus were invited to a wedding feast. Everyone was happily seated at table with the newlyweds when they ran out of wine. Mary, who was used to serving meals and take care of others, noticed it right away. She didn't want the newlyweds to make a bad impression on their guests, so she said to Jesus, they have no more wine. Jesus, out of love for her and for the people there, changed water into wine. This way of acting is called mortification and is the opposite of gluttony, because a glutton only thinks about himself and about eating and drinking. Mary instead thinks about others. See this animal? It is so fat that it looks like a balloon. We can see only its head, its belly and its legs. We can imagine a meat grinder in its stomach so as to eat faster. It represents gluttony, which is someone who lives only to eat and drink. We are like this when we keep everything for ourselves and we don't want to share. Share your food with the poor and the hungry and you'll acquire the virtue of mortification. Then Jesus will reward you. The chocolate bar. Nancy went to the store and bought a chocolate bar with some money that her dad gave her. She was going to eat it by herself when she noticed the other kids around. So she put it away so as to eat it by herself later. But then she thought, Jesus is there, present in those kids. She unwrapped the chocolate and gave one piece to one girl and then to another. She shared it with all the other kids and they all ate happily together. I don't like it. Rob and his mother are having dinner with his grandfather. They start eating the soup when his grandfather says, I don't like it. Rob tells him, I don't like it either, but I eat it just the same. I eat it to please mom. That way Jesus is happy too. His mom is surprised to hear him say this and asks, Where did you learn to act this way? He answers, I learned it from Peter, who is a young person that tries to live the gospel, and I want to be like him. Generosity Mary practiced generosity in a remarkable way. When she was at the foot of the cross, 
She saw her son die a terrible death and she went along with it for our good. Then she accepted to exchange John in the place of Jesus as her son. This is how she became our mother as well. And from heaven she is always with us. Look at this animal. It looks like a monkey with a magnet in its mouth so as to grab things with. It has a bag on its shoulder to throw things in and little does it know that they fall out of the bottom because it is so concerned with having always more. This is what happens with greed. It doesn't want to give anything away and ends up losing everything. We are also like this when we want to keep all the toys for ourselves or when we're never happy about anything. Also when we don't want to give things to someone who doesn't have anything. Give things to Jesus and the others and you will receive much more. I'll be right back. Danny is on his way to the park close to his home when he sees a poor man with dirty clothes and unshaven. He approaches him and says, wait here and I'll be right back. Danny runs home and goes to his room. He takes money out of his piggy bank and brings it to the poor man. The man looks at him surprised and thankful. Danny is very happy. I'll help you to get on. Paul was riding his bike in the yard when he heard his brother yell, Stop! Then he said, Can I have a ride on your bike? But Paul says, No. Later, however, he thinks it over. I'll do it and make Jesus happy. But then Frank comes with a bigger bike and says to Paul, Get on the back and we'll go riding together. And so all three ride around very happy. See how ugly these animals are? They want us to be like them. But instead, we should run to Mary because she is beautiful and good. We should love as she loved and the world will be a happier place.